Hey guys, and welcome back to yet again another video. So today we are we're actually playing against the Jax right now. We're going to be doing a matchup guide for Riven against Jax. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite matchups. It's actually a really fun matchup because if played right, uh, this is actually in your favor. Um, anyways, this game is currently Diamond Four. Everybody is like Diamond Four or Platinum One. Most I think Jax is Diamond Four. Um, but anyways. For the runes, I would recommend Conqueror with Triumph with Alacrity and Last Stand. Also taking the uh, free boots with the 5% CDR. I don't want to be tanking this. Uh, I'm not going to tank it. I don't want to be tanking for a Grace. Like, Grace always makes you hit a couple. And I don't like it. Uh, for the starter item, I would either recommend a Longsword or a Doran Blade. Now, for me personally, I much prefer getting a Doran Blade. It's just better. Now, as for the laning phase, uh, you got to be really careful how you face a Jax in the early game uh, at level 1. Your goal is to bait out Jax's E and possibly get the bone plating out. We've already got the bone plating out before, so that's really good. If you can get the push on Jax, then you should take your chance here. Nice. Nice. So ultimately, this matchup is about avoiding Jax's E. If you can avoid it successfully, then this matchup is not really that difficult. Nice. Ultimately, this matchup starts at level 3 because level 1 and 2, it's all about like queuing your queuing Jax and like staying on the back. And like as soon as you get level 3, you can actually start short trading him. That's the bone plating. That's the flash as well. That's really good. Okay. That's uh, very good. Although I did not really need uh, a level 2 gank. It's pretty nice. Alright. We're going to wreck this Jax now. You also have the pressure from the jungler. Nice. So ev like the way how you'll want to play against Jax is very simple. Every single time he goes for a creep... You want to use your Q to move forward and then trade him with like a, an extra W and auto attack. And basically do that on repeat. Ooh, I've actually got hit unnecessarily there. Ooh. Okay, we've got the bow playing again. We also have the pressure by Graves right now, so we don't have to place a ward down because we already know... Um, that there's no jungler there. Nice. We can force this entire lane right now. We can force it under the tower and then go back to base after that. And then force this teleport. Uh, he's actually going back to base right now, which is very good. So we're now forcing his teleport as well, which is very, very, very good. I'm just going to place a ward down right now because Olaf might actually come top lane very soon. Okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna repeat the same thing over and over. Ooh. The thing is that I've actually hit an auto attack on him. Like I tried to do this short trade combo on him, but my auto attack went on the cannon instead, because the cannon is way bigger. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. I'm just gonna directly TP on this cannon. Nice. He's gonna heal me. Very good. So every single time that Jax will jump on you with an E, you just want to shield backwards so that he doesn't hit the entire thing. And then you want to do like a like a full trade right after. As long as his E is on cooldown, you technically you can do anything you want. He's gonna E again. Every time he E's, you want to use your shield. And you want to keep doing this on repeat until he's low health. He's going to go for that CS. I'm going to stop him from taking it. We have Olaf right behind me. So I'll just take the kill right here. Uh, I could try to turn things around. If I dodge this thing. Oh, I could have turned it around if I dodged the X. But I was like... I was in a spot where I, I could only... 
I could only walk one direction, so even if I sidestep this axe, I would still crash into the tower and I mean, at the wall, I would still die, so kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Nice. I was actually being forced to go in there because Olaf was right behind me. So I had to go in. I had to dive that Jax. I, I couldn't go back because I would still die. So right now, the lane is currently being pushed in towards me. We don't want to break the freeze here, right? We want the lane to be frozen around our side. If we can freeze the lane around here, we can short trade him as many times as we want to. Nice. So now we all we have to do right now is simply hold the lane in this position and then trade him over and over again. Nice. I'm just gonna queue him like a couple times to see if I can bait out his thing. Okay, I got him. In two seconds. Thank you. So it all comes down to getting that E and then going for the all-in right after that. That's basically the trick behind this matchup. It's very like straight. It's, it's very straightforward. But the only difference here, though, like the reason why it's a little bit harder to get Jax right now is because he has bone plating. The delay. The lane is even easier if he actually has inspiration. It would be even ten times easier. Nice. Okay. Now we can go back to base. We can afford the next item, which will be another two long swords. So we're going to be rushing the ghost blade this game because I'm. I want to try to snowball the game in the early game. Let's get another one. So my advice is always the same. If you want to snowball in the game, I always suggest going for the Ghost Blade. If you much more prefer to like scale in the game and be become a lot stronger in the late game, I would suggest you just go for Dead Stands, like Black Cleaver Dead Stands. It's way better. Um, but my intention is to to like snowball the early game to get like as many kills possible and um, try to win it based on the early game. So Ghost Blade is way better for this. As for this matchup, I al always recommend like maxing W secondary, especially against Jax, because short trades are very, very important in this matchup. It's going to matter quite a lot. I'm just going to place a ward down here. He's actually taking my ward down. That might actually mean that Olaf could be t coming topset right now. The lane is going to be pushed in towards me. Okay. I got him. This time he's flashing out. The next time he won't. I'm gonna try to. Uh, um, I'm gonna try to force this TP right now. So as you guys can see, like his E is pretty pretty easy to deal with. You can just directly E into it or directly Q into it. This is bone plating. They're currently doing the dragon, so I think that Olaf is there too. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to try to force the TP here. Nice. I'll get a plating. Now it's actually time to get these platings down. This is where we get the gold advantage very hard because we have platings now.
Okay, we're gonna go back to base and we're gonna be affording the first item, which is the ghost blade. Here we go. And we're getting this guy. Ooh, Olaf's actually turning things around. Whoa, 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 calm down. Whoa. I actually thought that my teammates were gonna get him. Wait, what? My teammates have all died because of Olaf. Wait, this is very surprising. My entire team just died. Okay. Whoa. I did not expect Olaf to just turn that around with his heal and kill my entire team. Okay. If I actually knew that, I would have played that differently. <laughs> yeah, that definitely comes like a surprise. But whatever, we got a few kills now. So now we're going to be going back topside. I'm going to be pushing in the lane completely. Going to try to get maybe another plating down. We will see about that. But ultimately, same things apply. We're just going to be short training this guy until he dies. Also, Maxi to W. Let's see here. He's trying to avoid me, which is not a problem. Okay, he's going back to base. He's probably going to use his teleport right now to save this tower. Yes, he's using it. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, the camp has already been taken. We could dive him on our tower. I think Olaf is going to come topside right now. I'm just going to auto push this in because I know that Olaf is here because based on how Jax is standing right now. Yeah, I was right about this. Sometimes based on how people are walking, sometimes you can tell if there's other people nearby. And even in this case, we're about to get 1v3. Yeah. Okay, we're at least we're standing with two now. Get this wave. Get this, get this. One v three. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> what am I watching? All right, let's push this in. <laughs> nice, perfect. Let's push this all the way in. Hopefully, we can get the tower right now. Yeah, that was honestly beautiful to watch. That was really beautiful to watch. All right, we're finally getting this thing down. Perfect. Get the next wave and then we back off after. I would also like to get a few camps here. No, 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 Leona, don't do it, don't do it. Please, don't job. Okay, very good. I'm just gonna sell that. I'll get my red train kits, which is always useful. I'm gonna try to roam bot lane right now and catch that vein because she's actually worth quite a bit of gold right now. Come to me. Mm. 
can't catch her. My teammates are doing absolutely bad right now. It's gonna be a it's gonna be like a 1v9 game. Oh, they're using the Herald too. Okay, that's gonna be terrible. We will have to go into a four or four I guess four situation here. Uh, there are no wards, but... Okay, this game is going very unfortunate at the moment. Just unlucky. Got him. Nice. Okay, we got something to return for this. Let's go back to base. We're going to be buying the next item, which will be the Tiamat. And then we're going to keep on farming up because my teammates are really far behind. We have to pressure something right now. Okay, let's go top. They have a pretty strong scaling team comp late game, so we have to find a way to win this game early on. Just push this wave too. Okay, let's get that wave. Uh, Olaf might actually be topside here. So I'll need my teammates. Oh, he's using his ult, man. Okay, that's... Uh, I saw it coming. I pinged my teammates to come topside. The very moment I went in there. Because based on the way... Like, like I've mentioned before, you can... You can tell based on how somebody is moving that there's somebody here. And like I've mentioned, I saw o I said that Olaf was there. But I pinged. My teammates actually walked off. They actually walked back to base. If they came top lane at this very moment, we would have been in a 3 against 2 situation. It would have been a piece of cake. We could have we could have killed everything, but they actually walked back. It's going to turn out into a long, long farming game. Since my teammates are very far behind. Alright, Jax is coming back top. We can try to take a short shot on here, maybe. Try to catch him here. Oh, never mind. Let's see. Oh, my teammates are literally dying on our tower. At least we get one guy here. Or not, maybe. He, even he gets away. This is also like one of the reasons why TMS still works very well against certain champions like Jax. Nice. Perfect. Okay, we got a few catches again. We still got something out of TPing for this. All 
All right, next item we're gonna buy is gonna be some kind of item which will stop the healing from the enemy team. So it's gonna be a last whisper with executor on it. Because Olaf has healing, like Vladimir has healing, all of these champions have healing. left is still here somewhere. Thank you, thank you. They're just stalling things here. We're losing the inhibs from Jax right now. Okay. The problem right now is that Jax is finishing the game and despite me being here in this team fight trying to get the dragon or trying to stop them, my teammates are so under farmed so far behind in this game with only one item per teammate that we couldn't even win this team fight despite being super fed ourselves. We're like we're like literally two levels ahead. We just couldn't even turn that fight anymore. Okay, I need less Whisper because they have like a ton of armor too. Like they're all buying armor. So like Vladimir has armor. This, these guys have ninja tabbies. We will need to have less Whisper now. Okay. Unfortunate game. Really unfortunate game. But anyways, this is pretty much how you play Riven against Jax. Thank you for watching today's episode. Um, yeah. Nothing else to say. It was just really bad teammates. They had a really bad game. We couldn't do anything about that. But despite that, I've still been able to show you guys like everything that you can do against Jax the way how you should play against Jax. Also, this game is played live on stream. So, if you guys want to see like more Riven games and everything... Don't forget to check out my stream, guys. But anyways, thank you for watching today's episode. I'll catch you guys up next episode. Peace.